Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh, look at these ginormous tomatoes. They're supposed to be determinate. And they are taller than my indeterminates back there. Got nice big tomatoes on them, but yeah, they are much bigger than they should have been. And they're not through growing, I don't think. Loaded with blossoms at the top and got tomatoes all the way down. Nice sized tomatoes, see? Nowhere near ripe. I, uh, my son Danny cut my best friend's okra yesterday, so I got a, probably a ba um, hamper of okra to do something with today. And I saw one lonely honeybee out here yesterday. And the Boston Picklin used to be a really popular cucumber, but now I realize why it's not so popular anymore. It makes hundreds and hundreds of male flowers, but only a few female flowers. I see there's one female flower there. And if it don't get pollinated, the little, the little um, cute just falls off. So I bring a Q-tip out here and I hand pollinate just in case that one lonely bee don't show back up. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to all of our honeybees. When my berry bushes was blooming, they were everywhere. You know, I thought I planted dwarf um, sunflowers here, but I'm beginning to think that might not be dwarfs. And they will overshadow my uh, winter squash and my cantaloupe that's growing there so I may have to take them out I hope not but it's a possibility and the uh, peppers I'm trying to remember which pepper these are these are the um, um, jalapenos they have just started making like crazy well, I, I picked about six or seven yet the other day Put them in a bag in the crisper. Oh, Cause I got a niece that likes to make cowboy candy out of them. I like a mixture of peppers in my cowboy candy. Oh, obviously these plants, these tomatoes, have a lot of competition with the, with the uh, cucumbers. They're not nearly as big as those over here, although they're putting on tomatoes. They don't have the huge tomatoes like them, like their neighbors over there. And the army worms were actually eating this pepper here up. I put some BT on it. Well, a couple of days after I put that on, it rained. So, of course, I'll have to redo that. But I'm thinking I'll move that, that pepper. That's a sweet pepper. And I don't believe it's getting any sun actually back here. Maybe dapple sun, like it's hitting this one here. They don't seem to have bothered this one much at all. But I think I'll move that one uh, up front in one day. Actually, I'm going to be pulling up the um, snap beans today because we're in the 90s all this week. And if you know anything about snap beans or butter beans or any of those beans, you know that they do not hold the blossoms when it's in the 90s. When it gets really hot, your, your, your snap beans are over. You may as well pull up the plants and plant something else. And I've got a cover crop I'm going to put in here. Actually, it should come today. I had to order it because I don't like to leave any bare soil. And I need to test see if I need to water. We got a little bit of rain yesterday, but not enough to really do any good. And all these flowers that I planted here, the slugs has pretty much eat every one of them except these few right here. And I'm thinking, well, we're not going to eat these flowers, so I could put some slug bait down here, which I probably will too today. I also sprayed all those back there with the, because some of them had army worms eating their leaves, and eh, came the rain, washed it off. We're going to see if maybe I killed off all the army worms that was there because they have to eat the, the leaf that after you spray the BT on. 
BT is a natural occurring bacteria and um and uh oh goodness lord help me remember um it's a big flower and bush everybody likes to have in their yard uh I won't never remember the name of it right now but anyway it's an all natural thing it's not it's not a chemical pesticide they ingest it they stop eating and uh, see the army worms was getting those peas over there as well they stop stop eating and die and you know I thought this cabbage I left it here for one purpose and one purpose only is that it would flower but the rabbits have come and eat the top out of it, so it it will never flower. Guess I can just leave it there as a trap crop, crop for floods. I'm not gonna gonna keep y'all on here long. Or I know how boring some uh, videos can get when the people just goes on and on and on and on talking on it. But uh, pumpkins looking good, watermelons, uh, cantaloupe. I'm going to take those uh, leeks out over there, maybe late this evening. I'm going to pull all these up and see they still got a lot of bloom, still got a lot of little peas. But like I said, we're in the mid to high 90s all this week. And I got a whole uh, gallon bag of snap beans in the house that I've got to either can or uh, cook. I haven't decided yet. These needs picking actually now. So when I pull these up today, I'll decide what I'm going to put in here. I have to put something in. Can't leave it with nothing in. And I've uh, got one potato left over here. Beside those that's growing, uh, they volunteered over there. And uh, my comfrey is finally getting big enough that, uh, that the munching of the... Um, nails of not taking it out completely and these peas I think are getting a lot more sun than those over there and they're growing pretty good none of them had fertilizer and I, I missed when I put up my green stalk I missed putting one of the legs on it one of the wheels on it so I can't move it until my son gets out here and helps me put that leg on I put in some some uh, paprika, hold on a second, paprika peppers that I found inside. I was gonna put that in the tray. It's empty. And uh, I'm gonna start them and hopefully find a place to put them because I wanna make my own paprika powder. And this little old Everglades tomato, look, it's just covered in those little berry-sized tomatoes. Which reminds me, I've probably got berries over there ready to pick. So I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to give you a little update, show you what the garden's looking like. Looks great. Can't hardly wait to get a tomato off those tomatoes. God bless.